Hello and welcome in, folks. Get this place up real quick.
How have you been?
still looking well. open to you. My attention's glue is on the station monitors. Check. Be doing the checks and marks on the repairs from here. Got a few sites around the station where the others are already doing the look and seize. My attention's glue is on the station monitors. Check with the others. Be doing the checks and marks on the repairs from here. Got a few sites around the station where the others are already doing the look and sees. Hey, you mind helping me weld up some of these panels? Ah, uh, Miss coming up here. You should visit Vlad more often. to see your back at one piece. I'm really happy to see you. Need something, Captain? Don't do anything I wouldn't do.
Oh, I'm talking to myself. Yeah. Captain. You just pick up the welder. Nothing to it. This scanning equipment needs to be installed. I could use your help. If you could help me install these parts. Some of these seem to be a mixture of adapters from older tech. If you could help me install these parts. these panels you should be fine <sighs> down in a jiff let me just check a few more things seem to be a mixture of adapters from older tech.
We are done. Thank you. Thank you again. Nice work! Didn't burn your hand off. That's a win. Lend a hand? Grab a couple of wrenches and let's tighten this. Just grab a wrench. Should be quick. software. Want to test the computer over there? That uh, was supposed to happen. I think. I'd have to check with Vlad on this one. Follow the wrong wires. Station showing red. Bad. Nastier than I measured. Figured a few of the parts might be iffy, but this is going to take more than a span. Knew I should have fixed that faulty code when we worked on it the first time, Vlad. My past comes back to me once again. I can stick around until it's sorted. No need for the martyr's clothes, but I'm happy to have the help. As for you, while we're giving the eye the sorts, need to tip your ear on another matter when <coughs> you got the time. want to worry anyone, but we got more competition. Not Starborn, rival collector. Captain Petrov owns a salvager vessel called the Scow, runs it like a palace of novelties, and he's got a new prize in his collection. Reached out through my hand to hands to see if we can do an honest swap. He says the rock ain't for sale for any price. Think we're gonna need a crowbar and bag for this one. Left the life of a jack of ones behind myself. I know what I'm asking. But I see a clutch prize not up for the prying any other way. Not sending you lone hook on the job. I want Sam with you on this one. You two will be foot to foot the whole way, so make sure you're ready. Catch a smile out there.
Time to tell Cora we'll, uh, I got some stuff on my mind. When you have the time. What's going on? You look well. I think Petrov will want to talk to us. We're from Constellation. Got a lot of one-of-a-kind pieces from all over the settled systems for sale. Really? You're willing to sell? I thought you Constellation types only took things. Hey, we all need to make a little side money, am I right? Let us aboard and your boss can have his pick. For the right price. Uh, I think that will be... Acceptable. Giving you permission to talk. Sorry, I plain forgot what I wanted to talk with you about. <sighs> that girl. If Cora leaves her tools out one more time... I mean, I love her more than life itself, but I can only say the same damn thing so many times. <laughs> That's Cora to a T. I mean, this is between me and you. But Korra wasn't exactly planned. I don't know if I mentioned, but I served a spell in the Freestyle Rangers. Had a partner. Lillian Hartz. Well, we were like fire and ice, but, uh... Well, it wasn't all bad.
It wasn't always like it is now. You know, when Cora was born, I was completely out of my depth. For the first few months, I kept thinking, what a colossal mistake I made. Me, a father. But one late night, early morning, whatever, little Cora gave me my first smile. And I knew I'd do anything for that girl. Yeah, sure don't feel like it. You said it's none of your business what I do with Cora. You know us both, though. Better than anybody. I know she takes after me, but maybe too much. I've, uh... I've done things I'm not proud of. I <laughs> said things even worse. I try to be better for Cora, but... Is she gonna fall into the same traps? And that's the truth there. I know it seems crazy, towing her across the stars, but I'm not exactly swimming with options here. Her mother, like I said, another story, another time. And what, have her raised by Jacob, my dad? I'd sooner ship her off to Vladimir. You think? Well, she does say the damnedest things. And if she just learned to pick up after herself, she just might live until she's 13. You got time for a quick chat? I'd appreciate it when you're able. The Freestyle Rangers. You did their dirty work and then some. So how'd you feel wearing the badge? Well, good on you. It takes a certain type of person to thrive there. Me, I never cared much for being a ranger. Too many of them try to force the world to be only black and white when it's anything but. Take Ron Hope. I mean, the guy's a legend. Before him, Polvo was a desperate, depressing place. Everything he did was to keep his people employed, to keep Hope Tech standing in a backstabbing world of megacorp politics. Sadly, it is. Tough call on what to do with Ron Hope. Taking his hush money wouldn't have sat right with me. But I wonder what's gonna happen to Hope Town without him. I suppose it will. As much fun as it is being a ranger, I hope you can start focusing on constellation business. There's plenty of mysteries left in the good old Milky Way to discover. I could uh, really bend your ear when you got a moment. Hey. Late at night in dive bars, sometimes the old timers share stories about things they've seen that they just couldn't explain. Ghost stories, if you will. I've heard of things like the Starborn before. They're real. Honest to God, real. But you carry on for centuries of exploration, and you can fool yourself into thinking you've got it all figured out. Clearly, we don't. So the obvious question is, what the hell are they? Everyone's gonna be thinking aliens, but maybe not. Their ships were incredible, but they still felt like ships. They had engines, weapons, I think I even made out a grav drive. If they were really alien, I would just expect it to be more... alien, you know? I mean, it could be some secret Freestar Varun or UC tech. But I don't know. Exactly. I'm gonna throw out another wild stab in the dark theory. Maybe they're from outside our known systems. Here's the hypothetical. Centuries ago, some brainiac scientists decide to play settler. But they go way, way beyond any place we've ever been to set up stakes. Once they get there, they make a few lucky breakthroughs, and their science just snowballs from there. I can see them getting further, faster, and hence become the starborn. If I got it right, then you owe me a steak dinner. One way or the other, we are not alone. And that's... <laughs> that's both exciting and terrifying.
You done finally? Okay. I need to unlock it. So. Nice to be back. One day I will remember how to get around my ship without getting off. Do you need me for something? Nope, I don't. Who let you on board? Thought Petrov was done hiring mosquitoes. Or maybe you're after something from the captain's collection. Yeah? What kind of salvage work you do? Ship? Ground battlefield? Or do you just sculpt the back alleys picking through trash? <laughs> At least you're honest. And you can't beat free. 
Except maybe when you're paid for it. Am I seriously convincing myself to become a garbage man? <laughs> you're all right, scavenger. Go on ahead. Fine. Just ignore me then. Plan on it. Think I'm a suit to cook. I don't have to. You know that's not ours. wasn't aware we had the visitors. Wadik, you didn't tell me we had visitors. <sighs> we have visitors. Excellent. 
Now that you've gone through all this trouble to get here, you should make yourself at home. Relax. Kick up your feet on the tables. I don't care they have scorch marks on them anyway. Oh, ho, ho. flattery, huh? My favorite pastime, huh? Between you and me, I do have something very special in the vault. Ah, but my jealous heart knows no bounds. I want to keep it all to myself. Tempting. I do love showing off. But my security team will have a heart attack. It would be against all those protocols that I admittedly told them to make. No. No, some things need to be just for me. Because it's mine. That's why. Really? How flattering. Easy there. Maybe we can work something out. Uh, very well. What's a quick look going to hurt, huh? I know. People look at me and say, Petrov, your whole ship is a testament of splendor. Why do you need a special vault? Talk to well, Petrov. Well, all I can it's say is that even the greatest collection needs its own private viewing area. Plus, between that you and me, sounds familiar. Are thieves everywhere. Oh, so I spared no expense. Every door between me and my treasures is painful. But that is the price of security, huh? Que sera? Just a bit further. This ship and I have been through some adventures, I'll tell you. I once collected salvage from a Demo Celestial class while it was exploding. The crew was scraping scorch marks and bits of metal off the hull for weeks. And of course, there was the time I accidentally steered us into a UC Navy vessel after a particularly uproarious celebration of my latest acquisitions of fine art. But we were wedged perfectly between their two thrusters and were able to just kind of push them back into the star yard for repairs. itself. Ah, beautiful, isn't it? The man who sold me this told me that it spoke to him. That holding it for the first time was like drowning in your own soul. Alas, I've held it several times and my soul is still breathing. Devoid of any such enlightenment. Oh, no. No, no, no. I can't. This one is mine. And it's only fair to warn you. Hands off. I would hate to sour our new friendship by becoming the victim of piracy. Hey, we're not pirates. Except... Well, when we really need something, for really, really good reasons. Yeah, that does sound a little piratey, doesn't it? <laughs> what are you? Guards!
I surrender! I surrender! Don't kill me! We're only doing what we have to. Done! Stand down, everyone! Let the nice pirate pass! It's over, right? You're, you're gonna leave? I'm not getting in your way. Take everything you want. <laughs>
background seems to indicate you are a notorious sword for hire. Well, perhaps we can put that to good use. I also see that you've mined on Vectera, and now you're with Constellation. You've certainly been quite busy. Oh, and look at that. Right at the bottom of this list is the criminal incident that landed you in my crosshairs. I will, when I'm ready. Now that we have that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Commander Kibwe Ikande, and I'm in charge of this operation for UC Sistev. Are you familiar with what we do? United Colonies System Defense. Does that help you figure out exactly what it is we do? UC Sistev is a division of the UC Navy. Well, they handle the big picture stuff. We deal with a very particular problem. The Crimson Fleet. That convict is where you enter the picture. No. No, you don't. Not yet, anyway. We've been prodding at the Crimson Fleet for years, trying to take them down one ship at a time. But we barely scratch the surface. If we can get someone on the inside, we have a shot at finding a loose thread we can pull to bring it all down. Not for me. For yourself. Look, I'm going to make this simple. Agree to work for UCC Steph, and together we take down the Crimson Fleet. Refuse, and I tell these guys to throw you into the nearest lockup. Might even tack on an extra few hundred credits to your fine. Of course you have a choice. It's just stacked in my favor. So, what do you say? You going to work with me, or should I find someone else? You aren't leaving until I have an answer. Smart choice. I'm going to have one of my men escort you to the operations center. I strongly suggest that you don't give him any trouble. And don't bother trying to leave the ship. I think you'll find all access to the docking area is fully restricted. Let's go. So, you took the op instead of serving the time. Gonna be the commander's new mole, huh? Infiltrating a bunch of pirates. You've got a lot of guts. Excuse. Still, it makes you wonder, especially with the stories that go around. Like the one about how the fleet deals with informants by lashing them to the hull of a ship and then slowly letting the air out of their suit. Could you imagine? You gonna get one of them to go to? I know I could. But I wouldn't worry about it. Since the commander handpicked you, I'm guessing you can hold your breath for a really long time, right? This is as far as I go. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Ikande should be waiting for you. You know, the way you handle things, not bad. Not bad.
Hey. Ah, there you are. Excellent. Now that we've established your level of cooperation with us, I want to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdef's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Which is precisely why we're taking a more clandestine approach. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. My drink right there. My drink. I do. Damn. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Bod, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. You'd better hope so. Sersha won't be easy to dupe. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second in command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. If I didn't have confidence in your abilities, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Remember, this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. Fine. Whatever gets the job done. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdef, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path, and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. To put it simply, you can't go into every situation with guns blazing. Think Why not? before you act. Calculate what you're doing and pull the trigger only when it's absolutely necessary. At the end of the day, your primary goal is taking down the Crimson Fleet. That's the greater good. That's what I wanted to hear. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here and good luck. That's easy to answer. You don't. We'll be monitoring your activities from the vigilance and attempting to keep it within your vicinity. When you feel you've gathered enough evidence and at the completion of your assignments, Head back here for a debrief. Beyond that, you're completely on your own. Dismissed. Hello. Okay, hello. All right. We don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that are suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? Well, you better. Commander Akande's entire operation is resting on your shoulders. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. For the sake of the settled systems, I hope you're right. That minor skirmish you had with them on Bactera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard.
That's all we're asking. Oh, before you go, there's one more thing. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return, as compensation for your efforts. It's not generous, it's motivational. Commander Akande's idea. All right, we've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. Don't worry, the container's been registered with UC Security, so you shouldn't have any trouble. Even if you're scanned. Of course, if we find out you tried to sell it to someone outside the boundaries of this particular operation, well, I don't think I need to tell you the consequences of making that mistake. Let me know if you need anything else. Pardon. Yeah, we well, can eat just about anything once. What's wrong now? Yeah, that turns into arguing a lot of times. Is mining on the schedule today? Hello.
on course while we I'm trying to figure how I pissed y'all off or what I did to piss y'all off. Hell, I completed the whole freaking quest line for y'all. Good to have you back, but uh, try not to make a habit of it. It's good to be out and about. The lines get stuffy sometimes. Ever been to Aquila? No security here. The Red Devils used to train. If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time I've heard that line. Oh, don't give me that look. I'm just having a laugh. What have you got for me? Hmm. Aurora, huh? Nice. A little too hot to handle, though. What else you got? The Trade Authority turning down contraband. Well, if that doesn't take the cake. Or not take the cake. All I'm going to point out is the ceiling with my middle finger. Get that stuff out of here before UC security catches on. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. You must be new at this game, love, so I'm gonna let that one slide. 
In our business, nothing gets done until money is exchanged. Even if that means leaving a credit on each and every rung of the ladder as you climb your way up. You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unload that stuff for you. My faith in the seedy underbelly of the settled systems is restored. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Hi, right, good to see you. So apparently I have to do this before I can continue with my quest that I want to con this hearing loss is impermanent. continue with. Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sedonia heard you! Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we can help you with this. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But you're going to have to do something for us first. <laughs> yeah, sure. If the trade authority won't even deal with the shipments of that crap, where else you gonna go? Just cool your thrusters for a minute before you wreck this deal for the both of us. This whole thing's given me the worst sort of deja vu. If you want me to move that shipment for your pal here, you're going to do whatever the hell I want. You got that? Now listen up, because I'm not going to repeat myself. I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. He probably spent it all on booze, not that I blame him. Either way, I want that money back. Feel free to throw as many credits in my face as you want, but that isn't the point. We need to make an example out of this guy. His name's Carl Fielding. I think you'll find him wandering around the Deimos miners' quarters. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Just look for the most miserable looking guy in the entire place. Something I can help you with? Adler Kemp. Who the heck is that? What? Play what games? You're obviously confusing me with someone else. Look, I'm tired. It's been a long day in the mines. I just want to go home, wash off the dust, and relax. This has been fun, though. Whatever. Uh, hey, now. <laughs> Take it easy there. Let me think about that person you mentioned. 
Adler, was it? Hmm? Oh, wait, you mean that Adler? Yeah, sorry. I thought you were talking about someone else. <laughs> I told him I'd pay up next week when Deimos cuts our next profit share check. I'll even bring it to him personally. Hmm? Sound good? Yeah? Come on! Give me a break! What the... Look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now. Okay? You can't squeeze blood from a stone. You know? Right? It's funny how whenever someone's there to collect the dead, everyone's as poor as a list dirt farmer. Holy crap! Really? You'd do that for me? Wow. Uh, I don't even know what to say. Thank you. For everything. And don't worry. I'll never borrow anything from Adler again. I promise. I'm up for a little adventure. It is illegal to transport the plant or something for me there would you look at that I knew that bum was holding out on me he going to be a problem anymore or did he get the message nice nice you're kind of a natural at this leaning on deadbeats comes easy to you I like that you know if you like this kind of work I can get you more a lot more. You think you can handle running with my, uh, associates? <laughs> I'm interested. Come on. You're not shopping for real estate here. I'm offering you a crack at some real money. So can you handle it or what? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I like your style. All right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Oh, and I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you, too. Don't spend all that cash in one place. What about me? Like I said, you have to have letters from the doctor.
How are you, Dusty? Just like Engineers that, United we're Colony space. space. Maintain current course while we scan for contraband. The eye's gone completely dark. I, I can't reach anyone on the station. Noel, Starboard came out of nowhere. Vladimir, get out of there! He already left, said he was going to, uh, to the lodge. Are you? What did you do to our friends? They call me the Hunter. And now that I'm here, your part in glimpsing the unity is over. I'm already on my way. Say goodbye to your friends. It won't be long. Forget about us! That Starborn bastard is after the artifacts! You can't let him take them! Pack up the collection, move it somewhere they can't find it! He's right. We need to bunker down here and get those artifacts ready to move. Might need every gun to hold that Starborn off. What about everyone on the eye? We can't leave them to die up there. Can't blame you, but sure could use your help when that Starborn comes knocking. I don't know how long it's gonna take to pack up the artifacts. I... I'll get started. Hopefully this will only take a few minutes, if my hands can stop shaking. Everyone take cover, now. Where? God, where do I start? You really expect them to barge through the front door? Could you all 
I'll keep it down. I'm trying to work here. Come in. Come in. The eye's gone completely dark. I, I can't reach anyone on the station. Noel, Starboard came out of nowhere. Vladimir, get out of there! He already left. Said he was going to, uh, to the lodge. Are you? What did you do to our friends? They call me the hunter. And now that I'm here, your part in glimpsing the unity is over. I'm already on my way. Say goodbye to your friends. It won't be long. Forget about us! That starborn bastard is after the artifacts! You can't let him take them. Pack up the collection, move it somewhere they can't find it. He's right. We need to bunker down here and get those artifacts ready to move. Might need every gun to hold that starborn off. What about everyone on the eye? We can't leave them to die up there. Watch each other's backs. We're not losing anyone else today. I don't know how long it's gonna take to pack up the artifacts. I... I'll get started. Hopefully this will only take a few minutes, if my hands can stop shaking.
right back, people. Okay, I think I'm back. Everyone take cover. Now. Expecting them to ring the bell. Could you all keep it down? I'm trying to work here. Are you all right? Hands can stop shaking. Where? Do you really expect them to barge through the front door? Well, I'm not expecting them to ring the bell. Could you all keep it down? I'm trying to work here.
Well, get your ass moving then. Damn. And well, then follow me, and you just stand there like a bitch. Oh, I wish I had more health packs. I'd stand there and kill them. I'd stay there and fight them. Oh, you a dirty ass bitch.
Get out of my way. It better not hurt my favorite chick. I don't think I can move right away. But I'll make it. Go on. Hey, Barrett. Barrett, can you hear me? It's Sam. We're... we're gonna find all those artifacts, okay, Barrett? We'll solve this mystery, I swear. He's... he's gone. Come on. Let's get going. There's no changing anything now. Oh, thank heavens. You're all right. I'll be okay now. Go on. Take care of the others. You're... alive. Krieg's ghost can keep waiting. No tears for the old. Got the others to worry about. Thank you again. I will be all right. to talk locks and bolts. Lodge and the eye are not secure. Just means he's playing the waiting man's game. He'll be back once we've done all the work of collecting the other pieces. The hunter, he, um... Oh, he, he probably found us because we're somewhere obvious. High populated area, just like how the Starborn found you orbiting Neon the first time. But the fact that they're competing with us to find the artifacts means they can't get them without searching. So we put the artifacts somewhere in the fridge, or on something that can slip from their grasp if they do another strike from the curtain. Hope your walls are high, just in case the Starborn get lucky and find the spot to do the breach and storm. Here. Keep the artifacts safe. I guess... we'll meet back at the lodge after? need some time before I can move.
Good to see you. It's a gorgeous day in the space lanes. I thought it would come to this. One day, I'm gonna leave New Atlantis for good. What? Oh, Mateo. I'm sorry. I need to be just checking everyone's vitals. Thank you. It really isn't it. I'm not sure when things will feel safer. But we have not been attacked again. But I think I have something. I'm serious. 
if I may. I know our encounter with the hunter is the last thing anyone wants to talk about right now, but he said something that I can't get out of my mind. Unity. Do you remember that? Because he was stopping us, implying that we were getting closer to it. The thing is, I've heard that word before. It's an important concept in Keeper Aquilus' speeches. The priest? Is the Sanctum Universum going to bless our little crusade of discovery? It can't be a coincidence. The Sanctum has always believed that answers are out there in the stars. Look, I know it's the longest of shots and the biggest leap of faith I could ever ask us all to take, but... Why not talk to him? I guess it couldn't hurt. I've heard the Keeper's a pretty insightful guy. Thank you. I know it's not much to go on, but something about this feels right. I'll meet you over there. Sorry. I've been lost in thought for a bit. Lodge feels a little colder than it used to. I have been curious. I know that your role in Constellation was thrust upon you in an unusual way. But that experience does not demand that you stay. You could have delivered the artifact and then left. Why do you stay? It does seem to be a unique situation with serious consequences. That is what keeps me here as well. My past is complicated. Anyone here will tell you I do not speak much of it. But my family always stressed the importance of having a purpose in life. You must have a reason for being. Yes, that is one way of putting it. I am often surprised at how reluctant some are to agree with the idea. They sometimes seem offended I would suggest such a thing. When I first came to New Atlantis, I was shocked at how many people go about their business every day like drones. They do their jobs, eat their food, sleep in their beds, all seemingly without concern for anything around them. Complacent. Their experience is so different from much of the settled systems. They do not know how good they have it. Yes, they were. I did not grow up amidst such luxury. Purpose cuts through adversity. When y'all cut the heat I down. I know that all too well. And these people seem to have no idea. I am not asking for pity. I have done what is necessary to bear my burdens, and it has led me here. My family is unique within the settled systems. 70 or 69? I grew up outside the bounds of the United Colonies, or the Free Star Collective. My parents, and their parents before them, did not believe anyone outside our family could be trusted or relied upon. You can imagine, I am sure, how existence without ties to others is challenging in space. It has certainly proven valuable. Saved me, a few times, without question. For now, though, it would seem you and I have found purpose in Constellation. I believe that is enough. I am pleased that we have common cause and have enjoyed our time together. Thank you. Everyone seems more distant in the lodge. I look forward to it.
Looks like it's tag you're in, Andresia. Tag indeed, Sam. We will see you later. We'll get through this. Those Starborn aren't gonna stop us. I will be monitoring everyone's vitals for signs of continued. Get this done. I'm gonna run over here and then I'll get off once I make it to this building. I must confess, the hum of a grab drive makes me feel alive. Someone insults you, you want to just beat the shit out of I them know sometimes. Uh, Keeper Aquilus, can we have a moment? Oh, Mateo, it's been too long. How are your parents? Your mother's still struggling with that azalea garden? No, she figured that out a while ago. Had to adjust the pH levels in the soil. But, Keeper, I didn't come to catch up. Oh. Well, what's on both your minds? Keeper, we were hoping to talk to you about... ...unity. <laughs> you want to subject your friend here to one of our talks, Matteo? The future of humanity is always a long discussion. No, that's not exactly what I meant. Keeper, when you talk about unity, well... Does it mean anything else? Something... secret? Perhaps you should talk about this inside. Yes? You are following me finally. Good. I'd heard of the sight of growing up, but never thought much of it. Where the hell did it go?
Uh, now that we have a little privacy, why don't you tell me exactly what it is that brought you two here? They're like nothing we've ever seen, Keeper. Gravitational distortion, sub-audio harmonic sequencing, unidentifiable energy fluctuations. Uh, I caught half of that. So, these things are unusual? Even in your experience? There have always been mysteries that seem to defy our understanding of the universe. Beyond rational thought, we enter life as an act of someone else's faith in us. There's no way of knowing who we will become, and yet, the risk is made anyway. So, you've pushed into the unknown, not knowing where it would take you. And it's brought you here. I think I can. If you're willing to find your way in the dark for a bit longer, I can give you a path of discovering its meaning. There's an old story far older than the Sanctum Universum, of someone who walked the settled systems and saw every corner of it. This pilgrim claimed he found the true meaning of unity. I always thought of it as just a parable for trying to bring humanity together, but maybe it's more. I'm not sure if he was, but if what you're looking for is connected, then anything might be possible. In my story, the pilgrim met the founders of the House of Enlightenment and the enigmatic cult of the Varun, and he gave them each a part of the truth. Then he goes to his final resting place to live out the rest of his days in contemplation of infinitum addendum, his addition or contribution to the infinite. But what if the story isn't a metaphor, but a code, a way of finding the pilgrim again, or at least his grave? Yes, something must be there. I just can't put my finger on it. Maybe the answer will become clear when we have more. The House of Enlightenment and Varun have versions of this story. The Enlightened work out of the well here in New Atlantis, helping the poorest citizens find a better life for themselves. The rune worshippers are more enigmatic, but there is a lone zealot that was captured recently for attacking UC ships. I visited her a couple of times. Hopefully, she'll be willing to talk to you as well. I'll stay here with the Keeper. We need to catch up. And I wouldn't mind asking him a few more questions. Is something amiss? 